Guys, question one, you should all get 100% for in analyzing according to your accounting standards. So you need to be using your IAS 10 here, post reporting date events. Work through to prove that it's post reporting, first of all. And then discussing the different types, proving then that it is the one type, which is adjusting, and then how it should be accounted for in the financials. Okay, question two, working through our standard structure for analyzing audit findings, we prove misstatements, quantitative or qualitative, factual, judgmental, projected, pervasive or not, and then we request the, the entry. Same process followed for all. With regards to the consumables though, we had to project, extrapolate the misstatements across the population. And then you can see here, I've said 50,000 is factual. There is evidence for the 50,000. 228 is projected. So that they might not adjust, but then we can ask them to go and do some further work, or we can increase our sample size to do further work. Okay, they must, however, adjust this, which is factually misstated. The lines for credit losses, so just to prove that their methods and assumptions were not appropriate, but then give the calculation for appropriateness and prove the misstatement. This solution, guys, I've used a standard solution that UNISA have uh, when it comes to this type of question. So first, these two marks are always there, those theory marks straight out of the standard. Is there a going concern assumption appropriate? Is there material uncertainty? That's what we're trying to figure out here. Then, Another thing that's always there is that the discussion, if they don't take on the business rescue, they might not be a going concern. Okay. Then there was the post-reporting date event in the effect of the business rescue, which is fine, and explaining how it should be recorded. When it gets to the different alternatives, so the first one is obvious. If we prove they're not a going concern, they should adjust the financials, and if they don't, we are going to give an adverse opinion. Okay? This comes straight out of the standard. Or, if we say that the going concern assumption is appropriate, but they're supposed to re reflect the material uncertainty and they have refused to, we will give a qualified or an adverse opinion. So once again, straight out of the standard. The third option is if they change the basis, but they kind of mentioned they weren't going to disclose a material uncertainty, which makes me believe that they're not going to change the basis anyway. But say they do change the basis, then I can give an unmodified opinion. Cool. The rest of these are appropriate if we have gone with an unmodified opinion with a material uncertainty. But if we have already chosen or they've prepared their financials on a liquidation basis, there's no material uncertainty paragraph or basis for opinion because of that. So I've included it here. And I've discussed this a couple of times when we actually work through, uh, when we've worked through similar questions, where I want to have these, par these statements. There must be a basis for an opinion that the material uncertainty exists. I must include a material uncertainty related to the going concern paragraph, including the key audit matters. But that is only if we have gone and said unqualified, but there is a material uncertainty and they have disclosed. But in this question, they've refused to disclose. So we can't go now and say, okay, they are going to disclose. That's why that's not an alternative here. They refuse to disclose. Now we've given them an option that maybe they change the basis. If they change the basis, they don't have a material uncertainty about the going concern. They've changed the basis to liquidation saying there is no material uncertainty. We are not a going concern. So that heading would be inappropriate. Like I said, I've included, because that's how you need to have included it in multiple questions. I disagree with it, but 
for the purposes of getting marks, I would include a chair until UNISA adjust their solutions and their way of thinking to exclude that. All right. Super, guys. All the best for your test in a couple of weeks' time.